I don't think I can upgrade anything. You seem sad. I am. Oh no, Avery. Oh. You've been away. Sorry to say. Sven passed away not two nights ago in his sleep. <sighs> no. How is Toby? Taking it hard, very hard. You ought to go and have a word with her. Far as I know, she's barely left his grave. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? Well, I guess that's what I get for just trying to power through it. You have a keen eye for quality. Yes. <laughs> this will serve you well. Oh, I see. That's just attack. It has nothing to do with, with damage. Boo. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Fight well, Avor. Apparently I haven't. I got my butt whooped by some running dog thing and these daughters and I ever pronounce that that lady's name. I don't think I have anything to turn into you. Evil. What have you got something new for you? What have you got for me today? Oh, no, that's the black shuck. All done. I brought something for you. I could really use this. Good. This will help the settlement. Reindeer handler. Where'd that come from? Okay, do I have got all that? We always have need for this. I knew I could count on you. Done uh, now. Dang it. I have. Bringing me this would be helpful. Excellent. <laughs> I'm looking for this. Ton of brown bears. This will help us. Raven feathers? I'd pay well for this. This will be a great help. <laughs> I'm looking for this. What's this fox furs? Nothing else. I'll... Hope to see you again soon. Mm, maybe. Evil. Petra, you have a look that could quiet the thunder. Is something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Although I'm... Well, it's not easy. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I really enjoyed the time we've spent together, Eivor. More than enjoyed. What I'm trying to say here is that I... I like you, Eivor. And I'd like to go further with you. I thought we might, you know, be together. I feel the same way, Petra. Gods, I was worried you would never feel the same. I mean, you're always away living adventures and... But I always return home. Well, hopefully you can enjoy the That's arrows that are right. stuck in my wrist. Kiss me. Why is there a romance option in Assassin's Creed? Come over here. <laughs> the arrow's still stuck to me. Wow. Abor gets around. Hey there, how are you? Eat that wretched heart of yours. Do you not know fine millinery when you see it, Rowan? Rowan, Holger, why all this shouting? Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? 
Holgia robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. The man of leadership's all about. From the beginning. Please. Well now. There is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. <laughs> I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly? What? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I'll hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafu's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you'll... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. You know, I, I really think it's... Rowan, because Holger should have requested to get the horse, some of the horse hair. If he had asked, he probably would have been given it. So, Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You sheared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed. Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly. You will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale. Rowan, admit it. My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, 
May I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We are done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I wear. <laughs> God. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He has no care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulv has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. Yes, I had heard. The poor man. I wish I could have spent more time with him before the end. I think we all wish that. Tovi most of all. Randvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now. But I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Randy. Take a break. Let's make for Grandebred Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. Whoa. Take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day. Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandabit Shire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? <laughs> swimming? I don't know. Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Excellent. That makes it a lot easier. the right direction oh it's sort of wow 
What in the world are you doing? Is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen, hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out be here. Around here. Don't have time for you. Hey now! Now! Get the murder in heathen! Seriously? Yeah. Stupid. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Where am I headed? Oh. Well, I went the wrong way. Here we are. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. 
This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. Mm. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Shoma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox in the wood. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will We can you... take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. Oh lord, now the... The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I'd say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor with kissed iron-fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. On the back swing, get out of here. Again, it's like you the dodge, God Almighty. There, that's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. Good Lord. Exactly. Maybe we need to knock it down to normal just so they're doing normal amount of damage, which is just crazy. Especially these daughters and zealots and bull crap. That was a thrill, Eivor. 
We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Exactly. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look away. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Avo. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Avor! Over here! Look at this! Oh, someone is thirsty! Are you what are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. Hmm. Dude, she kicked my butt. She's gonna win. That's okay. Oh! Yep. Any more and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, <sighs> Ranvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already. Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. <laughs> All right, now where am I headed? <laughs> Don't drink and drive. You mean drink and ride? I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. Mm. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described his tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest.
I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? <laughs> what sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. Mm. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randy. If you must. Must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sinuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies mm. traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Oh. Lead on. Put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. <laughs> Well, a stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. Mm -mm. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth, hunting, sailing. I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Mm. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas. Raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... ...and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. Whoa. You can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... Okay. I have put you in a very difficult position. Okay. The heart does not do politics like the head. Maybe the meat, maybe the air. Doubtful. There is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober <laughs> enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. Uh-oh. That is... ...comforting to hear. I've long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. 
Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Uh oh. Went back home, bro. Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Was she taken for granted? Or was I? <laughs> 